to benchmark their energy usage. They have to report it on a public website so the public can see exactly what buildings are energy hogs and which aren't. And New York City, I think, is, is a couple years into their program. And what they found, and they were somewhat surprised, when they looked at their very large building stock in New York City, that <coughs> the older buildings actually perform better energy efficiency-wise than the newer buildings. And they think it's because in the old days, they built that, even though there's no insulation there, the walls were big and everything was heavy, and there's, there's a lot of thermal mass to the buildings. And so they were surprised, they were expecting to see these old buildings are going to be energy hogs, and new buildings would be much better. But a lot of the, you know, not all, but a lot of the older buildings perform, you know, relatively very well energy wise. And, um, One of the things I'll mention is this school has, um, does not have central air conditioning. Some rooms do have wall units, um, and I believe there was talk of possibly adding central air conditioning maybe sometime in the future. Um, when, uh, when they would go to do that, it's important that they would factor in the fact that lighting, like for instance, if you went from the old lights to the new lights, that reduces the heat load from those lights. The lights create quite a bit of heat load. So with the more efficient lights, your heat load from the lights is a lot less, so your air conditioning could be smaller accordingly. Same thing as you have new windows, you need to make sure you factor that in. And if you redid the roof, put more roof insulation on, you want to make sure you factor all that into your new air conditioning system design. Um, so even if the lights maybe hadn't been fixed yet or switched out, but they're going to be next year, they would want to design into the system that they're going to be switched out next year, otherwise, spending extra money for air conditioning equipment is not needed because the building, um, the building load can reduce. So uh, a lot of these improvements kind of build upon each other. So the windows, the roof, the lights all help your air conditioning one less. So you just need to factor in. Our products available now, they're not completely approved by the utility companies and the government where these LED lights, yep, the small, small LEDs are built into the strips. Um, but uh, at this point, they're not recommended. They're out there, there's manufacturers of them, you can use them, but they're not recommended. It's primarily because the quality of the LEDs is lots of variance of what's in the market. So um, it has reached the point where people, the government said, yeah, they're okay to use in government buildings. How about solar panels added to the system in such a way that it will help <coughs> lower some of the costs? Uh, in these city buildings and schools especially? Um, sure. Um, there, there are two things. One, um, actually Sean and I were talking about earlier, if you could add, I mean, of course, the solar panels, it just offsets some of the electric yes, systems exactly. in the building, and it's going to vary by the time of the year. Um, there are companies that will actually install them for free, and actually, uh, you actually basically lease the roof of your building to them. They'll install the panels, they'll take care of everything, and they'll basically sell you some electricity at a very low rate, and you don't have to uh, spend any of your own money, basically. That's so that's, that's one option. Another option for using solar is a solar hot water heater. Yes. Um, and I see them a lot, a lot more frequently in commercial buildings now, um, that basically the, the, um, the solar panels heat to a limited amount of water as so a tank up on the roof, and you use that to feed the hot water needs, domestic hot water needs in your building. Yeah. Now, what I understand right now is the bathrooms don't have hot water in them. They may never. Um, so I think the hot really? water is only used in the kitchen. A solar hot water heater would be ideal yeah. for that kind of application. Yeah. Um, schools, office buildings, solar hot water heaters work well because when you know, the sun's out in the middle of the day, that's when you're using the hot water. In homes, it's not as much because you use the hot water in the morning and at yeah. night, that's when the sun's it's not out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, schools is a good option.